Sambo nearly ran over me own cat. <laughs> Plenty of green in that. All right, well, g'day everyone. Um, thanks for coming back to the channel you might notice I'm not on an MC 750X um, I'm on my CB 1100 <laughs> and you wouldn't know about it wouldn't read about it just uh, it was like beautiful weather today just before I came out and uh, about five minutes into this ride from my home the wind has picked up and uh, it's like blowing a gale I thought I'd come out for a ride in some nice warm winter weather. I've only got like summer gloves and stuff on and I thought, oh, it'll be beautiful. We'll go and make a video. Famous last words and now um, I don't even know if you'll be able to hear me over the wind <coughs> or my croaky voice. Anyway, um, I hope wherever you are, you're doing well. Um, Sydney's uh, in a world of hurt again with coronavirus and some kids in daycare centres have got it and there's all sorts of suburbs that have been ringed off again and... I wouldn't be surprised if we're back into lockdown soon. Oh God. Anyway, I um, I just wanted to come out today on the CB and well show you the bike. I've never done a video on the CB before. Um, I'm just wearing my adventure helmet without the, without the visor on it. Um, and yeah, just wanted to show you this bike and take it for a, a ride. I might go up to Hawkesbury Lookout up the up the mountain there, and uh, we'll go and see what the view's like if the wind doesn't blow us away first. something about 1100 cc's worth of power I'm not gonna lie <laughs> do I love that or what I love the sound it makes I love everything about it it really does make me very happy <laughs> And it is so very easy to do things like that. You know, it, I, people talk about power and how dangerous it is and stuff, but I, I think if you use it properly, it's actually safer. I was in the danger zone a lot uh, less time than I would have been on the NC just there. So, you know, I'm not gonna crap on about it, but I do love the power of this bike. So that's the Blue Mountains right there in front of us. And, uh, there's a road that goes up there which I'll take but we won't get that for a little while so I'll, um, I might come back to you when we get to that road I'll just ride down there now won't be long So the other problem <laughs> with this bike is that it's so easy to lose points off your license <laughs> if there's a cop sitting around a corner. <laughs> oh, but you know, you've got to kind of enjoy yourself a little bit, don't you? I mean, seriously. So this bridge was well, you can see where it's all been knocked down here with the, the flood water. The flood water was right up here 
um, when we had all the, the big floods in, in Western Sydney. Um, and this looks totally different now. Look at that in there where it's all been knocked down by the big flood waters. I mean, that was big stands of trees there and the flood waters have been right up in the top of them and just knocked them down. The water was raging across here. All of this was covered, all those trees there are gone. And the water, you can see like the water was right up here, look at that. Amazing. Anyway, that, uh, yeah, very big floods up here uh, when, when we had all that rain not so long ago. Anyway, this is Springwood Road, which goes up to uh, Hawkesbury Lookout. I'm hoping once I get up here into the mountain a bit, the wind won't be so bad. And <clears throat> my voice might recover and you'll be able to hear me. And I'm hoping we can hear the bike as well because it sounds delightful going up through this uh, up through these mountain passes and stuff. But, uh, anyway, we'll see how we go. I have done a few little things to the bike um, since I've had it. I've, I bought a, a full set of um, throw over, not a full set, just a set of throw over leather saddlebags for it. So if I do go somewhere for a day, I can you know, put a bit of food and stuff in the saddlebag and put my camera gear in the other one, do some photography while I'm out. Um, I've got a full stainless steel Delkevic exhaust system on it now, which has opened it right up and sounds incredible when you're on the gas. Um, I've put that little fly screen on the front, which um, actually does a pretty good job. It's like a bit gimmicky, but it does a really, really good job keeping the crap out of the back of the instrument panel and stuff. And, and it's, you know, called a dark fly screen. I bought it from England and had it shipped over and it does keep all the flies and bees and bugs out of the back of the instrument panel because they go right in underneath and um, you've got to sort of half take things apart to get them out sometimes because I do like to keep it exceptionally clean. So much so that I actually, each time I get home, I wipe down the, um, I let them cool and I wipe down the exhaust headers so they don't go all black. At the moment they're a beautiful um, like golden colour and uh, they don't have a speck on them, they're, they're beautiful so I, I try to keep them you know, like that all the time if I can so they don't go that horrible black colour. <clears throat> this is the start of where we start to go up now. I've, um, I've also just done a 30,000 kilometre service on it. New um, you know, oil filter and followed the log book and checked all the um, all the breather tubes and had a look at the brake pads and all that sort of stuff and everything's good. She passed my inspection so <laughs> as per the book so I'll go with that. Oh, and I've just had to put a new battery in it as well. The, uh, the battery packed it in and uh, I got up the road and it had only just start from the shops and I'm like, yep, yeah, she's broken down. <clears throat> so $220 later, I've got a, um, another battery in it, which is fine. All right, so this is the twisty road up to um, the lookout now, so um, there's no cars in front of me, but I don't go crazy up here. But it's a nice road. So she does go okay up here. <laughs> That's fun. I hope you can hear that because the exhaust burbles and gurgles and carries on. It's a shame these corners are actually as tight as they are because you could uh, lean into them a bit more. <laughs> cars right in the best bit damn oh well 
well I'm sorry about that <laughs> that's going to slow us right down now but you know you got a bit of a taste for what it's like coming up here at some of those corners back there it's just a shame I don't have massive skills I'd be able to drag the pegs and stuff all up through here <laughs> I, my boot touches the ground but I'm not keen on dragging the pegs Ah, well that's a shame that there's some cars, that's kind of, this is kind of the best bit to stop through here. Anyway, it is what it is. <coughs> it's still great riding even if you are behind cars, <laughs> it's, still, it's still really good. I will um, pull the pin on the video up here once we get to the lookout which is just here because um, I'm only going to turn around and ride back home this was just a short ride to bring you out on the CB because uh, I haven't done that yet so um, yeah thanks for coming along on this video if you ride ride safe and I will see you on the next one hopefully my voice won't be as bad <laughs> all right goodbye